most known um, accomplishments is the painting, The Mona Lisa. Now, Da Vinci incorporated creativity so that he could better his inventions, and Google does much the same right. Google shows their creativity periodically in their home engine page, be it a holiday or a, a, an important historical date, they'll show a, um, a doodle. And Google also hosts an annual competition called Doodle for Google, where they pose the question, what if, to you, to inspire imagination and creativity. Now, um, back in high school, I competed, and my year, I was posed the question, what if the rainforest could fight back? This was my design, and I affectionately called it the Rainforest Strikes Back, because I'm a bit of a Star Wars nerd. But that's beside the point. I made it to the top 400 and the top 10 in Minnesota out of hundreds of thousands of doodles across the nation. I got a really cool takeaway prize, but more importantly, I took away an impression about Google. And that's that there's so much more than a search engine. Google is smart. They are a search engine, but they're also an office tool. They're a work of art. They're innovative. They're both natural and industrial. Google has all the key information and insight that you need in the palm of your hands. Oracle Sales Cloud 2 gives you key information that you need in the palm of your hands. And I'm going to show you that today, how you can get better key insights for your management via the iPad. I'm going to talk about this in three separate areas. I'm going to talk about key metrics modernizing your business by having mobile applications, and finally, integration in reporting, because I know that we talked on the, um, the call and that was very important to you. So your uh, managers will have access to Oracle, Social, or Oracle Sales Cloud via the iPad, where they are um, exposed to an array of different metrics. For example, performance indicators. They can see the sales forecast. Not only that, they can break it down by quarter and even by region. So what's really great about Oracle Sales Cloud on the iPad is it's super intuitive. I can see these icons are green, red, and yellow. So I see here that the Midwest it has a red X. I can tell without trading that that probably means that that area isn't doing so hot. Sure enough, I see from the overview that they're not even close to reaching their target. Another key differentiator about this um, application is that it, is very, it uses the intuitive and um, simple interface that is the iPad, so it stays true to that native environment. So should I want to move across the interface, I simply slide across to all of these key reports. Now these reports can be generated ad hoc in the, um, the apps, and you can also have them automatically synced to the iPad so that you can have better key insights anywhere you go, anytime. And this is really going to save time for your managers. Keeping true to the um, interface, you can simply tap into this key insight to see more, in, more about it. So for this example, this is a sales quota attainment broken down by representative. We can see here that Julian Henderson isn't doing so well. He's only got 25% of his attainment goal. Now, in order, for my manage, in order for your managers to better communicate with their team, Oracle Sales Cloud has built-in email integration with Outlook. So I can jet off this report to Julian so that he knows how he's doing, and this way my team can better collaborate, and I can get him back on track. Another way that I can look into the people on my team is through the People tab. It's really simple, very intuitive, and it's really this is going to mean very successful user adoption, which Jim, I know, is one of the main concerns that you had mentioned earlier. So you can look into the um, professionals on your team, and you can look into things like the opportunities that they're working on. In this specific example, you can see the win probability, what the close date is going to be, and another key differentiator that you won't see with the competition is that you can attach attachments, such as this RFP, for example. So everyone on the team has the same information. It's not in multiple places, and it's consistent. So everyone has the exact information, and they can better collaborate in this way. You can also look at the performance and attrition of your um, people on your team, and you can also look at the goals that they have set for themselves this year and in, in the quarters. And this is going to help your managers have better key decisions and that they can make better informed decisions as well. Yeah, I mean, at Google, we're very metrics driven. So mm -hmm. these goals, how are those set? The goals are set by having, um, the, they're individually set by the sales representatives. So the sales representatives will go in and they'll um, generate that in other applications. So for example, this is for <coughs> managers. Right, there are other applications within um, Oracle Sales Cloud. 
for the representatives, and that's where they go in and they make their, their um, key reports and the goals that they set for themselves. And I can bring them up and they're fully integrated and I get it real time here on the iPad. Great, thanks. Does that answer your question? Yes. Great. Um, there's also more key insights into the people on my team. Here I see a hierarchical information um, for, for example, Alexander Lopez. And this will show me um, the managers all the way up to the vice president, which happens to be Gretchen Adams. Another application that I'd like to show you is the Oracle Mobilytics. Keeping on the um, motif of Teams, I'd like to show you the Team Tracker. Brian, both these available on Android-based tablets? Um, we currently are fully optimized on the iPads. We will expect in future releases that we will have it across all of the, um, the, the tablets that you have. Currently, we only have the Apple, um, which we had talked and you discussed that you were going to implement. But certainly, we are going to um, have the research and development to make sure that we bring that to all tablets. Does that answer your question? Great. So here you can see um, things like solid business professionals. And you can categorize the different people on your team. You'll notice that this application is highly aesthetic, and it's highly responsive. And it's also, also highly configurable. So let's look into the solid business professional, Paul Mars. Here I'm, I'm um, given a whole bunch of key um, insights into what opportunities he's currently work on, working on, what he has closed, and even his key contact information. This is going to be really beneficial to your managers because let's say they're on the road and of course we don't use indexes anymore. What if I don't have my phone, I don't have my laptop? I can just pull up their information right from my iPad anywhere, anytime, and I can shoot them an email, give them a call, etc. Can you send him an email? <laughs> Tell him to cut his hair. <laughs> Another application I'd like to, to show you is the forecast shaper. Now, what you see is a lot of fun information, and it's a lot of color. And that just shows that it's broken down um, by sales representative. So different colors coordinate with the different representatives. So for example, red is Pat Johnson. What you're really seeing here is opportunities and deals for the current quarter and for future quarters to close. You'll also notice on the left-hand side that we have our goal for the quarter. It's $50 million, and right now you'll notice that we're only at 93%. Now, that's going to be um, a trouble for your managers because you want to get all the way to that goal, right? So what I can do is run a what-if analysis. I can look into high um, probability winning deals because they're higher up, and they're, it's relatively close to the current quarter. Sure enough, this Allergent, Allergent Incorporated has a 90% probability to close, and it's a fairly sizable deal of $1.4 million. That look really, that's looking very promising. So I can run this what-if analysis and drag and drop it over to the current quarter and watch that 93%, boom, 96%. I can keep running this what-if analysis to get um, next quarter deals into the current quarter so that I can make sure that I hit that current quarter quota. The interfaces that I showed you today are highly aesthetic and very simple to use so that um, you will easily be able to uh, adapt and unlock the manager's success via the iPad. So what I showed you is how you, with key metrics, you can have focus areas so that you can better have your attention on specific um, indexes and the performance of your team that you need to. I also talked about modernizing your business. By having mobile and having this anywhere, anytime, you're going to save a lot of time for your sales managers. And finally, I talked about that integration with those ad hoc reports and how that's going to be customizable for your business needs. Now, as I showed you, I would like Brian Greenan for you to accept the keys to unlocking insights for your management. All right, thank you. Thank you. Finally, we'd like to take you home to the Googleplex with closing, Seth Allen. Thank you, Brianna. Google, it's just so good to be here. We've taken you on a journey. We've talked about the key to providing a holistic view to accounts. We've talked about the key to simplifying your operations. We've talked about the key to account development, the key to user adoption, the key to visibility, and the key to insights into your account. I am so excited to be here. 
Ever since I was a little boy, I knew what a Google was before I even knew that a company called Google existed. Google's a one with a hundred zeros after it, right? I was so excited to find out, I think I was, I don't know how old I was, but that there was a company named after practically my favorite number, which was awesome. So it's just really good to be in this company. Um, we have talked about past innovations. I'd like to switch the focus to the future. What if, in the future, someone develops a car that drives itself? Well, as you know at Google, you're not too far off from that. What if, in the future, someone develops a machine where at the push of a button, you can get any food or drink you want? Well, we're not quite as close to that, but this is a machine under research by NASA that prints food. Currently, it can print a chocolate bar. Next, what if sometime in the future, someone develops a tool that allows your sales team to collaborate and work together in real time, anytime, wherever they happen to be on the globe, on any platform? Wait. That future is now. Oracle offers these solutions with the Oracle Sales Cloud, with the other applications that we've talk, talked about, that we've discussed. Oracle is invested in knowing about our customers as well. We know that Google has published as part of their mission statement 10 things that you know to be true. I'm going to talk about three of those things and how they relate to Google, how they relate to Oracle and our partnership. The first thing is, Google says, being great just isn't good enough. Oracle understands. We've been innovating since 1977. We're not just great, we're number one in CRM as evaluated by Nucleus, IDC, and Gartner. Another thing that Google knows to be true is that fast is better than slow. So I brought a statistic that I thought you'd be especially interested in, and it's that one of our customers, for whom it was particularly important that they have fast results, reported to us that they had 95% of their queries were returned in under a second. So that's where we get 95% sub-second results. It's great. Along with the last thing that Google knows to be true is focus on the user and everything else will follow. We know that those inventors throughout history spend a lot of time and a lot of money on their inventions. Google's the same. We've been innovating since the beginning and spent $4.5 billion on research. That's more than all of our competitors have spent on research and more than a lot of our competitors' entire revenue stream. Focusing on the user, Gartner said that people who implement this solution will reduce errors by 90%, will reduce processing time by 40%, and your IT load and resource requirements are reduced by 50%. Also, revenue increases. Gartner also <coughs> reported that people who, customers who implement these solutions, see an increase in revenue of, tw of 10 to 15%. As Google, you can appreciate a, an increase of 10% or 15% in your revenue, or maybe even more. At the end of the day, what that means is, more money in your pocket, more money to do what you want to do because the money's not flowing into things that are just bogging you down. As Google, you understand, as Google executives, you understand how it is to help people do things better. Jim, what percentage of your time would you say that you spend trying to help your people do their job better? Uh, probably at least 50%. Okay. And how much, I'll ask all of you rhetorically, how much time do you want to spend putting out fires? Albert Einstein said, intellectuals solve problems. Geniuses prevent them. I'd like to invite you to unlock the possibilities of what you can do. Unlock with Oracle Sales Cloud. Thank you. We'd like to invite each of you to unlock Key takeaway messages. No, we all doing it together. So you got the race pass. So we thought you would find that fun. Yeah. Uh, got my.